Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Mechar, Godash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of GMS that teach us this word. And Shalom unto the hopeful elect upon the four corners of this earth that's trying to make it a body here in truth and in sincerity. So this lesson I want to bring out is we're going to be talking about how we need to wait on the Most High's return to get vengeance, to get revenge on our enemy, which is Esau. You know, in the times that we're in, if all of Jake, if all of us in Israel tried to rise up and revolt against Esau and try to get revenge ourselves, then it wouldn't work out. You know, we would lose. That's why we need to wait until we have the most high on the most high on our side. We need to wait till we have Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai on our side, you know, with the with the angels. You know, because that that that's when we can get our vengeance. That's when that's when the time is gonna be ready so that Esau can come down. You know, but right now isn't uh, th think about think about um Nat Turner, you know Nat Turner tried 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 to rise up against Esau. He tried to he tried to get his freedom, you know, and it didn't work out for him because because it wasn't time to rise up and revolt against Esau. You know, if all of the nation of Israel tried to have a, ma a mass uprising against uh our enemy right now, then it wouldn't work out. You know, we'd lose that battle because we we'd be trying to take it into our own hands. You know, but that that isn't our that isn't our uh that that that's not our job. Our job isn't to take revenge into our own hands. Our job is to just continue to bring out these prophecies. Our job is to continue to 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 do right by the Lord Yahweh. You know, and if we continue to do that, then the Most High he he's gonna come back. You know, and he isn't gonna gonna come back. It's prophesied. It's a, it's 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 set in stone. You know, Romans chapter 12, verse 19 says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place uh, 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 unto wrath. So he's saying, you know, just hold out. Let it happen. Because the, the more Esau, the more wrath Esau is putting down on his place, the more wickedness he's spreading. It's just continuing to stack on top of all the wickedness that, that, that he's done more and more continuously. He's just continuing to dig a hole for himself. You know, and that hole's gonna be too deep for him to even climb out of. You know, it's already too deep, and he's continuing to dig and dig and dig. It says, "For it is written, vengeance is mine; I will repay," said the Lord Yahweh. So, the Most High is saying that vengeance is His job. He He's the one who who exacts vengeance. He's the one who exacts revenge. He's the one that 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 exacts that um that uprising against Esau you know and once it's time then we'll be able to fight against Esau then then we'll be able to get our hands dirty as well but we gotta wait upon that time you know and that time that time is coming soon you know it, it's, it's not like it's gonna take forever to come that that time that time is is is, is uh upon us here soon here I get Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 35 it says to me belong to vengeance and recompense so that's just further backing up what we brought out in the romans you know the the, the most high is saying that vengeance is his job it says their foot shall slide in due time for the day of their calamity is at hand and the things that shall come upon them make haste you know so it's saying it's saying that their foot shall slide in due time and and when your foot slides when when when, when you slip on the ice what happens you fall so esau's fall it, it 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 comes in due time, you know. It's not like it's not like it, it's gonna it's gonna uh, it, it's not like it is is gonna wait or it's gonna hold up. No, it's gonna come when it's as as soon as the Most High is ready, you know. As soon as Yahweh Shai gets that word, he he's on his way immediately. You know, it says for the day of their calamity is at hand. You know, it says. And the things that shall come upon them make haste. So, so that means it, it's 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 coming soon. It's it's a coming fast. You know, it's it's not like it's gonna uh, take its time. No, it's it's coming fast, and it's and it's gonna come as soon as it's ready. Let me get Second Peter, chapter uh, three, verse eight. You know, because even though that scripture's out there, you have a lot of Jake that will get impatient, that will get antsy. You know, like man, the Lord Yahweh ain't uh ain't ain't uh 
we're 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 we ain't gonna get saved out here. Your house shy ain't, ain't coming back to save us. It's been it's been way too long. You know, I'm I'm ready to 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 get out right now. You know that 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 that's how a lot of Jake think. You know, but you gotta keep that 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 patience. You know, and the Most High is gonna come back when He deems it fit. Yahweh Shai is gonna come back when He de- when the Most High de- deems it fit. So like it. Here I get Second Peter chapter three verse eight. It says, "But but but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord Yahweh as a thousand years, and as and, and a thousand years is one day." You know, so what we're in uh twenty twenty one right now. It's only been two days. And and uh and and in in reality for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it's only been two days. You know, he's not he's not waiting up. You know, th- th- think about how furious Yahweh Shai is right now. Think about the, the the wrath that he's gonna come back with, the vengeance that he's gonna come back with. It's only been two days. You imagine getting crucified, getting 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 hum getting humiliated in front of nations, you know, getting getting uh getting completely humiliated you know for nothing and 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 only two days pass <laughs> you, you you'll be you'll be ready for 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 vengeance you'll be ready for um recompense you know um it says the lord yahweh is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but is long suffering to usward not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to 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 repentance. So it says that the Lord Yahweh is not slack concerning His promise. He isn't sitting down. He isn't being lazy about it. No, th- these days are being prepared. You know, the 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 kingdom is 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 being uh um pre- pre- prepared. You know, the Jake men. Count, count count these years we, we we count the times as as we can comprehend it so we're we're like all these years have passed and and and, and nothing's happening but in in reality for 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 your how about shimmy out shy they they're they're coming with haste you know they're uh rushing they're 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 hurrying up you know and we just gotta keep that patience on us i get um one last scripture isaiah chapter 35 verse 4 it says, say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your, 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 your power, Yahweh, will come with vengeance. Even the, the Most High, with the recompense, he will come and save you. So he's coming with vengeance and he's coming with, uh, with a, a recompense. Let's get that word recompense. Now get the pronunciation. Strong's age, 1576. Gemul. Gemul. It says dealing recompense b- benefit. Dealing of one's hand recompense benefit. So it says that not only is the Most High coming with vengeance upon the enemy, but he's coming with benefit towards his nation, you know, to, to, towards that 144,000, towards that one third. You know the, the the Most High is 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 coming back soon. He's coming back with a gift for his nation, and 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 um and and a cursed gift unto unto uh unto Edom. You know. He's coming back with 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 a very uh a a gift of hostility towards uh, to um towards America, and that time is coming here. It's coming fast. You know these prophecies are are uh, coming upon us back to back to back, you know like wildfire. So it, that time is coming soon. That time is is isn't isn't uh, holding back. You know, and we just got to keep that patience and and remember that the job for 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 vengeance is not up to us. It's up to is up to the Most High. You know, it it would keep your patience. Even if you get impatient, even if you get too antsy and 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 uh and uh, you want to rise up, what are you gonna be able to do? What what would you be what would you be able to do against Esau and his armies right now and in, in uh these times? That's why we gotta wait, you know. That we we gotta wait for uh we we gotta wait for 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 Yahweh Shai and those angels, cause then cause then once we're on his side, 
then we're going to be able to uh, win. Here, as a matter of fact, I'll get one more scripture before I leave. Um, I believe it's a Revelation 17 and 14. Yep, it says, these shall make war with the Lamb. And these is talking about those, uh, the, the, these is talking about armies uh, um, uh, of, of, of NATO uh, 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 all over the uh, world. You know, it says, these shall make war w w w with the Lamb. And it's talking about, that Lamb is talking about Yahweh Shai. It says, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. You know, so if we keep that patience, you know, and we're on Yahweh Shai's side in these last days, then we're going to be chosen. Then, 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 then we're going to be called. You know, we're 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 gonna we're gonna receive that that uh that gift. We're gonna receive that 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 that, that benefit that it talks about that uh, recompense. You know, so hey, with that being said, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Kodash. And hey, show them.